9 hub hello welcome to sip 9 hub this video is a differential calculus video specifically we will be talking about how we compute the derivative of a given function using uh, the limit definition of a derivative so let's recall that the derivative the definition by definition the derivative of a given function say f of x is given by the limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x all over delta x as delta x approaches zero so if we want to compute for the derivative of a function and we are instructed to use the definition of a derivative then we follow this formula prime here is a notation for the derivative of f of x there are other notations so if the function is say given as y is equal to f of x we can write the derivative or the notation for uh, the derivative of y as dy dx read as the derivative of y function y with respect to x okay so let me give you an example of a function and then we're going to compute for its derivative so let's start with a polynomial our first example is 5x cubed minus 2x squared plus 7. So this is the given function and our goal is to compute for its derivative using the limit definition, this definition that we see here. So if we look at the definition, we actually need two expressions. We need to evaluate the function at x plus delta x, subtract it with the function itself. And then, reminding you again, we are actually evaluating the limit of this expression as delta x approaches 0. So, to compute for the derivative of this function using the definition, we have to recall our skills in evaluating a limit. So, uh, let's first compute here what we need in order for us to solve this derivative. So, again, we need f of x plus delta x this means that we just have to we just have to uh, evaluate the function at x plus delta x so we substitute x plus delta x in the given function let us do that so this would be equal to 5 we substitute x plus delta x in place of x so we have x plus delta x cube let me move a bit minus 2 x plus delta x squared plus 7 we'll have to expand this one using our knowledge in algebra so the first uh, expression that we have to expand is x plus delta x we need to raise it to 3 or cube it if we have a binomial and we want to cube it first we cube the first term follow the sign 3 times the square of the first term, so that is x squared, times the second term, that's delta x. The next term would be still 3 times the first term. This time, we square the second term, which is delta x. And then the last term would be the cube of the last term, delta x. So this entire expression here is the expansion of x plus delta x cubed. We now continue with the expansion of x plus delta x. This time, we are raising it to 2. So we square this the same binomial. So if we square a binomial, we start by squaring the first term. Follow the sign. Twice the product of the two terms. The two terms are x and delta x. So their product would be x plus delta x. The last term would be the square of the second term, which is delta x. And then we have 7 there. We can uh, distribute 5 to this expression and then negative 2 to this expression to have the final answer for f of x plus delta x. Again, we are not yet 
uh, evaluating the derivative, we are uh, evaluating uh, this one because we need it in the computation of the derivative. So we would have 5x cubed plus 15x squared delta x plus 15x delta x squared plus oh, sorry that is supposed to be 5 because we are multiplying 5 so 5 delta x cubed we now multiply or distribute negative 2 to this entire expression here so we would have negative 2x squared plus 4 or that's minus so it should be minus minus 4 x delta x minus 2 delta x squared and then plus 7 so this is the value of f of x plus delta x so we are now ready to compute for the actual derivative of this function so to do that we follow the formula f prime of x is equal to the limit of so first we write the value for f of x plus delta x and that is that's actually a very long this is yet the value of the value of f of x plus delta x if we follow this formula we would have to subtract f of x and f of x is the given function uh let me write it here a bit lower because the space is not enough so we have 5x cubed minus 2x squared plus 7 all over this entire expression here is divided by delta x delta x is approaching zero so we have to uh simplify our numerator because it's very complex it's very long because we can do that so if we notice here we have positive 5x cubed this is minus 5x cubed so that would uh, give us an answer of zero 5x cubed minus 5x cubed will give us zero also we have here negative 2x squared minus minus 2x squared so this becomes positive here minus negative 2x squared is positive 2x squared that would uh, give us zero if combined to negative 2x squared so this will be cancelled and actually also this 7 here positive 7 minus 7 will give us zero so what actually is left here is is what we have 15 x squared delta x plus 15 x delta x squared plus 5 delta x cube i'm here so that was cancelled already minus 4 x delta x minus 2 delta x squared is that it i think so delta x delta x is approaching zero so our next problem here is to compute for the given limit because this is a limit we need to evaluate the limit and there are a lot of strategies on how we compute a limit so the first uh, strategy the easiest way is to uh, substitute uh, what is delta x is approaching to so meaning we substitute this value to all the delta delta x that we see in the expression however substitution as a method of evaluating a limit does not really give us uh always the the limit that we desire and uh, that happens when uh we we have uh an in indeterminate form upon substitution of this value this is actually the case here if we substitute zero to all the delta x that we see here our denominator is obviously delta x and doing substitution directly will give us an indeterminate or an undefined or an undefined term so that is not uh, very helpful uh, to us in evaluating this limit we need to uh, think of another ways on how we evaluate this limit so if we notice for each term that we have in the numerator it uh, has delta x 
So we can actually factor out delta x. That is what we're going to do. So if we factor out delta x in the numerator, then we have delta x times 5x squared. This, this will become 5x squared only because we are factoring out delta x plus 15x. We have delta x squared. If you factor out 1 delta x, then you are left with 1 delta x plus uh, 5 5 delta x. This is originally cube. If we factor out 1 delta x, it becomes square minus 4x minus 2 delta x. That's it over delta x. And now we can simplify this one as, so let me maybe write it here, limit of is that 15 or 5? I think it's 15. That is 15. x squared plus 15x delta x is plus 5 delta x squared minus 4x minus 2 delta x. So we are left with this expression. This is the simplification of this entire expression. Now let us try again. Substitution is a method of evaluating the limit. If we uh, will have an answer, that is not, of course, a defined or in indeterminate form. So if we substitute delta x to this entire expression, we would have 15x squared. So where, which term does it involve delta x? It's the second term and the third term and the fourth term. So if we substitute 0 here, the entire term becomes 0 because the operation here, 15x times 0, will give us 0. Same with this term and same with this term. So actually, we are only left with 15x squared plus or minus 4x only. So there we have it, the derivative. This final result is called the derivative of the function 5x cubed minus 2x squared plus 7. So f prime of x, the derivative of f of x is simply 15x squared minus 4x. That's the derivative that we want. Let's have another example. We have here a function f of x equal to 5 over square root of x. And we want the same. We want to compute for the derivative of f of x using this definition here. So again, to compute, we copy, we follow the formula. So we start with the limit of... Uh, we can actually compute this one in a separate space or we can integrate it directly so that's what we're going to do in this case so if we uh, evaluate the function at x plus delta x minding of course that this is our function we have 5 over square root of x plus delta x so we simply substitute x plus delta x to all the the excess in the function minus f of x, our f of x this time is 5 over square root of x all over delta x. How would we continue? Uh, this expression could actually be written as 1 over delta x times, we want to combine first uh, this uh, expression, the expression in the numerator. So, uh, we would have uh, square root of x plus delta x square root of x 5 times square root of x or 5 square root of x minus 5 square root of x plus delta x. So I just combined our expression. This is just the same with this expression. We continue it here. So the next step would be to think of a way so that we can simplify this one or evaluate the limit because substituting directly zero to this expression would definitely give us an undefined term. 
so that is not uh, helpful to us we have to think of other ways so what is that strategy i could let me copy that first i could multiply this one with a value that is just the same as one but in another form so i would like to choose five square root of x plus five square root of x plus delta x actually what i multiplied here is one multiplying one to an expression does not really change the expression but i have to do this once so that i can tweak that expression that will uh, uh, make me simplify the expression and make that limit evaluation easier and why did i choose this one so remember the numerator could be thought of a binomial and uh, multiplying its conjugate would give us a value of so if i multiply this one to this one that would give us 25x minus 25 x plus delta x because the product of a sum and difference of two binomial is just the square of the first term minus the square of the second term so that's how i know that i would multiply 5 square root of x plus 5 square root of x plus delta x a here is 5 square root of x and b here is 5 square root of x plus delta x we square 5, that's 25. We square square root of x, that's x. Square 5 again, that's 25. So that's minus. And then the square of square root of x plus delta x is x plus delta x. Let's put here this one. We might forget it. Over. Over the entire expression. We can just copy this one. We see that we can actually simplify the numerator because this is 25x. If we distribute 25 to x, we have 25x. So 25x minus 25x will give us 0. So what actually is left in the numerator is simply negative delta negative delta x. Actually, we still have 25 there. So it's uh, negative 25 delta x and then copy the denominator we do not have to combine uh, things here because of what we did we can actually cancel simplify delta x in the numerator and delta x in the denominator because we can divide them delta x divided by delta x is just one so we are left again with just negative 25 in the numerator and then we compute now the limit we evaluate the limit so if we are able to uh, simplify the delta x here we can actually use substitution again to evaluate the limit so where are the terms involving delta x so we have here delta x and then another delta x there so they become zero if they become zero then we would have an overall result of negative 25 over that's square root of x because x plus delta plus zero is square root of x square root of x five square root of x plus five square root of x x plus zero is just x square root of x simplifying further we would have uh, square root of x times square root of x is just x. 5 square root of x plus 5 square root of x is simply com combine the numerical coefficient. We have 10 square root of x. We can further simplify this one as... So 25 over 10, it's negative 3 half. So we have 3 over 2 x square root of x. This is f prime of f prime of x is negative 3 over 2 x squared of x this is our derivative the desired derivative of the function